So we're going to take what we learned the last two days and we're going to work on another assignment, but first we're going to do this warm up and turn it in. Um, so like I referred to earlier, um, if you have a straight line, a straight line is 180 degrees, right? So how do I figure out R? 180 minus 53 is what? 127. Okay, you can use your calculator, plug it in. So R is 127 degrees. Cool. Same thing with Q. I got a straight line of 180. I know 62. 180 minus 62 is what? One eighteen. So Q is one eighteen degrees. All right, for Z, I got a straight line of one eighty again. So one eighty minus seventy one. What do you think? One hundred nine. Okay, you were saved. So Z is one hundred nine. Now for you know, over off to the left here, these are right angles. These are both 90, right? So that's already, we already know that. But I want to find X or Y. Now, there's two ways to do this. You could find, hey, look up here. You could find a Y on the inside, but the inside doesn't add up to 360. You're going to have to use that N minus 2 times 180. So if there's five sides, 5 minus 2 times 180, it's 540. And I could add up all the inside ones. And subtract it from 540 to get y. That's one way you could do it. Okay, but you're going to have to. The sum of the interior is not always the same, so that's why it's kind of, in my opinion, a little bit easier to do the outside angles because you always know they add up to 360. Okay, so the outside angles. Let's go ahead and figure them out. So we got 90 right here, 53, 62, 71. So those four angles, and then we have X. So I'm going to add up all five of those equal to the sum of the exterior, which is always 360. Okay, so let me write it out as a big equation. Nine, 90. Get 90 plus 53 plus 62 plus 71 plus X equals 360. Okay. Now I'm going to add these four angles together. What is 90 plus 53 plus 62 plus 71? So I did it earlier and I got 276, okay? So I'm adding the four outside angles I know. I get 276. Bring down plus X equals 360. And then last step to get X by itself, how do I get rid of 276? It's positive, so I subtract 276. And what is 360 minus 276? I got 84 when I typed it in earlier. So my missing exterior angle is 84 degrees for X. And then can you use that 84 to figure out why? If it's a straight line? 180 minus 84 is what? 96, there you go. So Y is 96. Cool. Now you're going to have one of these on your assignment today. That's why I showed you this. Okay. So you're actually starting to think a little bit more critically on how to do these. Okay. So you have one just like it, different numbers. Okay. And on the front side, you're going to be using all these formulas that we've been using before. So check it out. I'm putting this on the board here. These are the four things we talked about the last four days. 
okay? Sum of the interior is this. One or each interior is this. Sum of the exterior is always this. And then sum, one or each exterior is this of a regular polygon. Okay, so you're going to use these. Now, these are all in your notes, but I'm putting it on the board so it's in one place. If you need to look at that, okay? But I'm going to pass out this assignment. Make sure your name is on your warm-up sheet, okay? If you are absent any day, make sure you put absent, okay? And I'm going to pick that up after I pass this out, and then I'm going to let you work on that. If you did read the warm-up earlier, the warm-up, uh, the, the agenda page, we are going to have a little quiz on Monday using these formulas. So as long as you can plug in stuff into formulas, you should be okay, in my opinion. Okay. All right, here we go.